for us, design is a conversation. It's a way to connect things that have maybe a cosmological aspect to it, or even a molecular aspect to it, to things that are very mundane. Things like a chair, or a table, or a room, or a house. Things that we live in and interact with. We're architects, we do a lot of installations and furniture, objects and buildings. We like to be innovative about the materials that we use and the systems that drive their construction. We have a fascination with systems and, we, and a particular fascination with, with modular systems. We tend to start with small parts that come together to form larger wholes. Our kind of understanding of modularity is something that's not quite obvious or fixed uh, and something that can be a tool for finding kind of infinite variation. The way in which a log cabin is built is usually you cut your logs and then you stack them. We asked this question, well what would happen if you reverse that? What hap would happen if you piled up all your logs first and then you carved out your shapes, your spaces and your structures after that? Well the point of Initiating a process like that is to frustrate your preconceptions about what a thing should be like. And for us, that's what design is. It's about putting in place a process through which you can guarantee surprises. We've been researching crystallography, and that is the study of solid state matter, things like metals and diamonds, crystal structures that are modular, repetitive, and that build a lot of the world around us. One thing you can say about crystallography is that it's driving an invention in material culture today that is reinventing the way that we live our lives. The battery in your cell phone, the chip on the computer, these are all changing, they're becoming faster, better, stronger because of the new materials that we're making and the way in which those materials guide energy. All of our projects start from a simple element. For instance, this one here is an eight-sided shape, and it's got a little wobble in it, and we call it the special octahedra. And it has this special property that it can form these rings. It's a modular fractal structure that can carry structure. So for instance, this is a bridge that we designed using this octahedra. So this is the project that we did uh, for the moment, it's called Rules of Six. We built this algorithm that would allow you to grow and decay this tiling of, of shapes. You see the algorithm live, uh, living, running through iterations, never repeating itself. Eventually, uh, it was about how to migrate this information into a physical instantiation, which became basically a wall piece in the museum. All these shapes, what they have in common is they produce an infinite variation and it's very much for us about this search for endlessness or infinite possibilities. This is the design of the stage set for the Yaysayer project. It's this attempt to kind of realize a kind of multimedia crystalline environment. We're interested in these crystal structures because of the kind of subtle and sophisticated ways that they can organize information. And seeing the, the visuals animated across the piece kind of embody that information flow. I don't think it's quite clear to us yet what the piece uh, really is in its final manifestation. And that is maybe the most pleasurable part of any project. It's ultimately about trying to discover and remain interested and inspired by the world around us. Design is not about solving problems, but creating new opportunities. Mm -hmm.